ATP Tour share what's cool and unique about the Monte Carlo Masters. Quite a lot, as it happens. It's old. The first Monte Carlo Masters was played in 1897, although much debate exists over the location of the first tournament. It used to be dominated by the Brits. The first Monte Carlo Masters was won by a Brit. Reggie Doherty, a four-time Wimbledon champion, won six of the first ten events. The only person who could actually stop him was his younger brother, Lawrence, who won the other four. It's now dominated by a Spaniard, Rafael Nadal holds seven records at the tournament, most titles, ten most consecutive titles, eight most finals, eleven most consecutive finals, nine most matches played, sixty most matches won, fifty-six most consecutive wins, forty-six his next target could be the most editions of the tournament played, which is currently held by Frenchman Fabrice Santoro with seventeen. But it's never been dominated by the French interestingly, only one Frenchman has ever won the Monte Carlo Masters. That was Cedric Pialin, who scored a straight sets victory over Dominic H.R. Beatty in 2000. It was cool enough to tempt Bjorn Borg back. Bjorn Borg made his first comeback attempt at the Monte Carlo Masters in 1991 after 10 years away from tennis. Unfit, out of practice, and still using a small, wooden racket, he explained, You know, the thing was I just wanted to play tennis again. After I retired I did not play much for 7 or 8 years. In 1991, I decided to come to play Monte Carlo. It was a big tournament. I was living in Monte Carlo. I played no practice, no exhibitions, I just kind of turned up. He played a warm-up against a very young Gorni Venisvich but lost in straight sets to Jordi Arese. It's not actually in Monte Carlo although called the Monte Carlo Masters, it is actually located in Roque Brune Cap Martin, France. Although, just like everything else there, it has connections to Hollywood the showpiece court at the Monte Carlo Country Club has seating for 10,200 fans, and it is named after Rainier III, who ruled Monaco for over 50 years and was married to iconic American actress Grace Kelly. It's a tournament with a view the tournament is held over 8 days and 11 clay courts, all of which overlook the sea. It's a tournament you really want to win. In 2018, players will play for a share of nearly 5 million euro in prize money, with 820,000 35 euros going to the winner. If Rafa will let you, Monte Carlo forms a triad of clay masters tournaments, with the others being held in Rome and Madrid. In 2010, Rafael Nadal swept them all before going to the clay of Roland Garros and winning there too. ATP Tour Monte Carlo Masters Rafael Nadal